Today on Reese Dixon, we are making do-it-yourself nail art stickers. Hi everybody, it's Teresa with ReeseDixon.com. Ages ago, when I was on the Mom's View, I promised to share a tutorial on how to make your own nail art stickers, and I'm finally getting around to it. So. I love nail art, but I'm just not very good at it. I haven't practiced a lot, and I'm not a painter ordinarily, so I really had to come up with a way to make it so that I could join this nail art trend with the skills that I had. <laughs> and so nail art stickers is just a fantastic way to go about it. You can get detail in those that you just can't get unless you are the finest nail artist there is but they're also really expensive. Those nail stickers are a lot. I mean, you might as well just go get a manicure for some of them. So I wanted to find a way to make my own, and then it's a lot easier for me to do some nail art skills if I don't have to do it on my nails and try to hold still and just use one hand. So I am going to do them on a flat surface. This is parchment paper, and I'm going to paint my little nail stickers on here, and then once they're dry, I'll apply them to my nails. So let's get close up so I can show you how to do this. What I have here is a piece of parchment paper. Um, you can find this in the same aisle at the grocery store that you find tin foil or wax paper. It's normally right on the very bottom shelf because people don't use it as often as other things. But this is actually a, a really great nonstick surface. I use this for everything. And uh, it's not wax paper. <laughs> this won't work with wax paper. So with parchment paper, you'll once it dries, you'll be able to peel the nail polish right off. So for starters, I've got this great Color Secrets uh, nail polish. This is 100% vegan nail polish, which I think is really cool. And I'm going to paint my base color. And I'm just gonna paint like little rectangles that are the size of my nail. And once I get it on, I'll trim it to size. So I'm gonna paint 10 little rectangles here. And then once it's dry, I can decorate. Now that my base coat is dry, I can decorate these any way that I want. And I have all of these different bright colors. I think I'm going to add some polka dots. That looks pretty good to me. So now I'm gonna let these dry really thoroughly. And these are actually all ready to be nail stickers. Just have to let them dry and then I'll show you how to apply them. I've applied one of these nail stickers. So now let me show you how to do it. First off, I've painted my nails with a coat of base coat and um, that's already dried. So now that it's time to put on my nail sticker, the first thing I'm gonna do is peel it up from the paper. And these will tear easily, so you have to be a little bit careful. Bend the paper, not the nail sticker. There we go. So you don't wanna to have to mess with that if your nails are wet. <laughs> so that can just lift right off like that, see? Okay, so now that that's ready to go, I've got a pair of scissors here. You can use um, like cuticle scissors too, those will work great. And I'm going to kind of round the end a little bit. It does not have to be perfect, you'll fix that later. But just to give me a nice starting point to apply these, I just kind of cut that end down. So now I'm going to freshen up this coat of base coat so that the nail sticker can stick to it and really get a good grab. And while that's wet, I'm gonna stick that sticker in its place.
Oops. Okay. Now you can see I made that so much bigger than my actual nail. So I just kind of position the dots where I want it and let that get good and adhered and give it just a minute to dry. Our nail, now that our nail sticker is good and stuck, we can pretty up this manicure because that's a bit of a mess. So I am gonna take my finger and just kind of run it around my nail. And you can use uh, any number of tools for this. When um, If you've done nail sticker kits, then you know exactly how to do this. Uh, those kits often come with a nail file, so you can just kind of file off any extra. Unless you just did like 87 coats, this will be thin enough that you can just kind of tear it off if you get a good, you know, break. See, there we go. So now that top, see how it's, see? So that top line is done, and then I just need to kind of come in uh, near my cuticles. And if you've got any degree of fingernail, you can just kind of punch that through with your fingernail like that, just right up against where that skin starts. See, just peel that right away. You can use a pair of scissors, or sometimes in the tricky parts down here in the nail bed, I'll use a, even a pin. But uh, it's just so thin that, you know, just like we had to be careful at the beginning, this is where that comes in handy, because you can just kind of give it a good tug and it'll come right off. So now that I've got my sticker applied and give it a minute to stick in place, now all I have to do is come back with a top coat to kind of seal it. And whenever I do nail stickers, whether I'm making it myself or I'm using commercial ones, I typically do two top coats and pay really special attention to those edges so that I can really get them to stick down. And I find that if I do that, then my nail sticker stickers <laughs> will last for like a week and a half. My nails are all dry, and what I really love about doing it this way, painting my nails this way, is that I am so impatient that it never fails. Whenever I paint my nails, I end up botching them because I can't hold still long enough for them to dry. So with this, I can do layer after layer after layer of different paint and intricate design, and it's drying not on my hands. <laughs> my hands don't have to be still while all those layers dry. I just have to be still for the base coat and the application and the top coat and I'm done. And that much I can manage. So <laughs> I'm really enjoying getting to play with these colors. Um, I would say that these don't store very well. I tried to do up a whole bunch and if they get bent then they'll tear um, and they can kind of dry out, which makes it hard to get the flexibility you need to get on the rounded surface of your nail. So I would do these as you're going to use them, but they do save you a ton of drying time where you can be kind of multitasking as well as allow you to do both sides with your dominant hand and get some great details in on your nail art. So I hope that was inspiring and helpful. I would love to see what you guys come up with with your DIY nail stickers. So please subscribe to the channel for lots more great ideas and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.